can we boost the role of business in preserving nature? Thanks so much. It's really a pleasure. And it's really exciting that the One Planet Summit is taking place today with such, such leaders. A big focus on the role of business. Businesses have a, have a huge role to play. Companies are already making commitments, taking action. The message here is that it's not yet enough. We need to now scale and speed up business action on nature and biodiversity alongside climate and inequality, of course. And the way that we can do that most effectively is by boosting that policy ambition, the policy ambition that in turn will encourage even more business action on the ground. So we've seen companies, whether it's uh, like Walmart that's pledged to be carbon neutral by 2040 without using carbon offsets and then you know, protecting uh, 50 million hectares of land, or whether it's like Unilever, who's uh, put together a $1 billion fund for regenerative uh, practices and deforestation, um, zero deforestation through its supply chain by 2023, only a few years from now. So we've seen these commitments, but if we're really serious about stepping up the action and the speed of action, we need that policy ambition. And that's why the One Planet Summit today, as well as the announcement of a group called the High Ambition Coalition for Nature and People, which is co-hosted by France, the UK and Costa Rica with 50 other governments, they've now made a big commitment um, to conserve and protect 30% of all land and uh, oceans. And that gives a really important signal to businesses to also scale up their innovation and the resources uh, around reversing nature loss in this decade. Eva, you mentioned there's some very big names in the business world, but let's talk about the small and medium enterprises. I mean, do people in general in business take note of what summits like these have to say? Do you know, I think they do because they are a, a signal of what the global framework will look like. So just as ahead of the, the Paris Agreement on climate in 2015, there were some leading forward-looking companies that were you know, providing that business drumbeat um, for an ambitious Paris Agreement. We have the same thing happening now but on biodiversity and nature. And it's ahead of one of the sister UN conventions on biological diversity or biodiversity, which will also take place later this year in Kunming in China. Uh, so the, those global agreements matter not only to big organizations and companies, but also all of their suppliers and the small and medium sized organizations, because it will dictate what that overall ambition and direction looks like, it will trickle down and then provide a level playing field for all. It will encourage and give the certainty to companies to invest in those processes and products that are not only net zero uh, emissions, but also nature positive, as well as taking into account the equality of people. Eva Zabe, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And schools in Madrid.